I'm going to start on the garden today. I'm going to start trying to grow different lettuces, uh, cut salads, cut lettuce, cut salad, I don't know, uh, iceberg lettuce, uh, rosa rola, uh, r rosa lola, rosa lola, and bok choy. So I'm going to have to go dig up soil from somewhere because here is not so optimal, I think. So I don't know where I'm going to do that yet, but um, I'm going to get started. And I think I'm going to make a box here. I'm going to dig down into the ground. This is where the wood pile is stored up. That's north. We always get really bad wind. So this gets really warm. Let's see what we can make out of that thing. Taking all apart, and don't be as dumb as me and try and pull them. Stand the pallet up and break it out from the back. Just go from one end to the other. Today we are changing the donkey fence and uh, we try to cut everything off which could get tangled up in the wire and uh, yeah, hope the donkeys are happy after. Of course, my helpers always around trying the best to support me. I have chosen the placement, which is due south. I have to figure out now, am I going to do walls up? Or I have three, three panes of glass, which I can fill in here, here, and here, and then make a plastic top with hinges. I'm kind of leaning toward the plastic top. I cheated. Well, I didn't cheat, but I guess I cheated. I usually like to try and build everything by hand. I just ripped them really quickly with a jigsaw. So they're wobbly as can be, but they'll do the trick. This whole thing's wobbly. Irene's calling the donkeys. Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Come on! Here he comes. Come on, guys! Come on! Let's go! Let's go, donkeys! Come on, move your donkey! Let's go! Yeah, let's go! You know the way. Come on, donkeys. Come on, donkeys. Let's go. Come on. come on, come on, come on. Go down there. Go down there. I got them this far. I don't know how to make them go around the corner. Crap. Dry fitting the glass to make sure it fits and it's working well. I can open it for ventilation. So this extra piece that was sort of my off cut put the nice side on top and then you put a nail in through here and then put one in through here and that will make our top and we just cut this off check that your roof is level and your the sides are level as well i haven't built with nails in a really long time and i love screws much more but these are just the old nails that came out of the pallet so you don't really even have to buy anything to build this it's just it's all found stuff good morning helper oh bright and early back out again chilly I'm getting on it man I want to get this thing done I want to get some plants planted in here and get vegetables growing Look at this thing. I'm going to sift the dirt to get the rocks out of there this morning. But this is how it looks. There's all this rocks and there's really big rocks in here. And then you sieve it and you have like, oh man, look at that. Doing some collecting. Have some leaves. I'm going to get some pine needles. I'm going to get some little sticks. I need to start to build up the organic material in the soil because it was mostly clay. Today I finish to paint Maud's house. 
she's coming to see what I'm doing on her home. Yeah, that's the last layer. Put some tape up and now we fill in all the gaps with the rubber paint. But it starts to look much better. After a bunch of sifting, that's what I'm left with. A nice pile. It's about, I would guess, 80% clay, so I need lots of organic material. We're in the mine field or the gold field. How you like them dry donkey balls, man? Gotta get dry donkey balls. Can't get the fresh stuff, and you don't want to overdo it too much because, yeah, but you gotta get these old dry ones. <clears throat> we have started a compost in this black trash bin. We keep it covered to keep it moist and warm. But realistically, that's not going to be able to be used this winter. Next on the menu is wood ash. I'm going to put a little bit of that in there for carbon. Finally, to finish up for this round, I'm just going to try and fill that entire capasso full of just forest soil that's sifted. This is going to take a long time. This is kind of a preview of the soils here. You have the pine needle rod on top. That's what you got for topsoil. And then right underneath that, you're just running into clay. This place has been heavily, heavily uh, farmed out over the years, you can see. I mean, these are old terraces from farms that used to be here and the soil is just totally depleted. Build the soil, the soil conditions are terrible. So it seems to be our biggest issue is gotta make the soil better. Mission complete. Look at the soil. Look at the just breaks apart. So much organic stuff. I hope the pine needles don't make it too acidic, but that is super loamy. Awesome. Here's my organic blend. We have the soil from the forest, soil from directly here filtered. We have wood ash, donkey poop, water. Now we just mix it all together. That is gonna complete my soil building. God, don't you wanna live in there? I do. Some nice black dirt. Mmm, juicy. The little house is finished. Looks like a good spot for growing. Look, you got the old window door handle. You got ropes to hold it in place. And if it gets too hot in there, you can just slide the glass open in the front, slide the glass open on the sides. These are the dinosaurs of Guadalest. Look at him. <laughs> Irene's holding him. Wow. Really cool. Getting ready to plant. On the front line is getting cut salad, Lola Rosa, bok choy, and then the Swiss chard with two tomatoes flanking. I think the tomatoes are going to get too big, but we're going to try and see what this box can do. Yeah, look at this. Holy smokes. A brand new virgin sprayer for me to use in the garden. Finished. They're planted, sprayed. Two tomatoes looking good in there. Weather's supposed to be looking good in the next 10 days. So hopefully in 10 days, we'll have some sprouts. Irene's being walked. Irene is being walked by Guapo this evening. Take him on a cruise. He's been locked up all day. Somebody got me. Oh. A bird or a mouse or something ate it. We're down one tomato. We're gonna go check out, it's the first morning, we're gonna go check out the um, little box up here. It's 11 degrees outside right now. Let's go see what we got in the box. Lots of humidity and it's hard to see, but nothing ate our stuff, which is great. And what do we got up here? It's 14 point something or another, so three degrees warmer. This is my ghetto temperature setting, but this one runs down, comes over, and is monitoring soil temperature, and this top one's monitoring air temperature. Back this morning to my grapevine project. I'm trying to get these cables all tensioned. We bought tensioners that will hook into there, then I'm gonna do three lines per tensioner, so six coming off of each post. I just wanna clean all that up and get it real nice and tight so these guys have a good support. 
First thing I'm trying to do is clear out the line sets here from the back because they are galvanized steel cable, but subterranean they're going to rust and they've already rusted a little, but they should be pretty good if we keep dirt off of them. I'll set up my backs and then finish tensioning out the front so I can get a clear view of what's going on here. Finished with tensioning. Everything's looking nice and tight going back to the wall. Much cleaner and easier to work with than the line sets were before, so that's really good. Anything breaks, it's easy to replace. Same kind of deal up here. The last line set's done. This one got put in new, so now we have threes coming off, threes coming off, and threes coming off. I'm coming in now and zip tying all of the junctions so that everybody's supported the same give us a nice flat bottom finished with the pruning of the vines and i think it looks better they're at least flat now instead of hanging down everywhere so we should have nice and supported for next year's growth if you look at the top everything's nice and flat we just got them trained to keep them growing this direction out hopefully in the next couple of years they'll be fully covered look at this poor guy Guapo, you only have a half size bed. You don't fit. I gotta go find you a bigger bed. I got inspired by my one box and I was up here digging around in the attic, which I'm going to now refer to as the treasure box. And I found this big window and these four which match. So I'm gonna go build another greenhouse with two windows in the front, two on the side, and the big glass top of the wooden back. Let's go get doing it. Came to another box so I can start looking for hinges. There's all kinds of old hinges here. And we got more hinges back here. And we have some hinges up here. Just a matter of digging around and finding what you want. Look at that. That's what we need. Look at this cool box I found. Hand drills. I'm taking this one up with me because I got to try it out. Look at this thing. It just, you pulled down on this. And it spins. I gotta try this thing out. I'm all into this. Wow, look at this box. Look at those. Look at that planer. Dang. Holy cow, is that cool. So nice. Sharpening block as well. I don't know what this is. Is it a blade? No, it's sharpening blocks. Wow, look at those things. Really cool. Wow. Look at these cool things that I found in here. An old telephone. Here's the box. Look at the phone. I mean, that's unbelievable to me that something like that actually, like, functioned. People could talk through that. Nuts. No plastic there. And look at this thing. Like a death switch. Oh. <laughs> really cool stuff. Man, tons of cool stuff in this room. Don't get your hair caught in there. There goes Irene trying to do the old school drill. Is it going to work? Look at that. You're going backwards, I think. No. Oh, it's going in? Yes. Hey, look at there. The driller. Try the other one. Oh, no. Look, I did it backwards. Oh, you just oh. broke the drill bit. Broke it. Uh-oh. Snap the drill bit off. Finally tried this thing, and it's very odd because whenever you use it, it spins counterclockwise. Drills typically go clockwise. So maybe I'm doing something totally wrong. I have no idea. All right, I found these pieces I'm going to use for the verticals. I have four big windows like this for the sides, and these are going to be all my horizontal pieces, which I found in that pile there. The box is made. The roof fits perfectly, so it will stay sealed. These are for the doubles, and these are for the single windows on the side.
It's crazy, look how fast the fog's moving through the valley. Did not get to finish the greenhouse yesterday. Ooh, it's rainy and very gross today. I'm gonna try and get these pins worked out so I can get the doors on. I was digging around and found this jar full of things and and sold my finger yesterday. That thing is looking terrible. I found these guys. Maybe they work for pins if I cut them off. Here's the problem with my hinge situation. We only have the female hinges. I need a spike. Cool, that fits in there. We'll stick this one in there, have it cut off, and then this like that, and then they'll hinge. test. It's working. Just sitting in there kind of loose. But then that sits down on there. Perfect. Okay, look. Door pins are in. We have functioning doors. Hooray! There it is. Looks like a big giant jewelry case. Gabrielle told me it's my jewelry case. Yeah, we're gonna throw us some mateys in there, hopefully. Finished. Working in the mobile office. <laughs> the signal's so bad, we just drove up on top of the hill and parked. We have much better signal. Uploading video two. It took us from 9 a.m. until right now to get 50%. In the last two minutes, I've loaded 8% of the video. So much better, thank goodness. Gabrielle invited us for dinner and it is very rainy and foggy. Not too terribly cold, but man, is it wet. Gabrielle is making dinner on her stove here. And I'm guessing she has sweet potatoes over there. Sweet potatoes. Butternut? Yeah, butternut squash, that's right. Okay, can't have too much cheese. Down here, filling up water for the donks. Oranges are coming. Lemons are coming. We'll be doing good pretty soon on our lemon patch. Going to the village today to get new fuel bottles. Tres, see? Changing out gas bottle. Loaded up with three new bottles. We also picked up a bottle of chainsaw oil. This is, yeah, and this is vibrating out all of the olives. When they come up over here, we're in an olive oil production factory. This, they all come down here, and then they come into here. Okay, this is water. Okay, so this is separating water, and this is the oil is coming out of the water with this machine. Oh, hey, guys, yes. Hey, wow. wow. You also have tight. to be careful if somebody steps out there. Yeah, I'm gonna go nice and slow. We're going into, what's the name of this place? This is Benny Mantel. This is Benny Mantel? Yeah. This is the... Now, this is the town hall. The plaza? The yeah. town hall? This and then we're going to go out the other way. Oh wow, look at the church. Really nice. This is five days. Today's day number five, and I got a whole line of sprouts popping up. And the tomatoes are still surviving. That's five days for them to sprout. The weather's not been super nice, but we got sprouts. I'm working on the soil in taller greenhouse. I didn't show this last time. I have mostly wood on the bottom. Then I cover that with some granulated dirt with rock in it. But I'm also first gonna put in some raw compost we've been collecting. You know the mix. Ash, poop, forest dirt, local dirt. It all goes in here, get mixed together. 
the last day living in a box. Well, not true. They're going to go live in a big box. soak them down really good with hydronutrients make sure that we give them pH water get their soil loaded with nutrient that they can eat later gotta get it really good and soaked well that's it for the greenhouses I think it's looking good hopefully it produces there's the garden for 22 23.